Are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Sam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fitz. <laughs> visitors from around the world at the Founders Day Festival, that foreign language phrase book could really come in handy. Right as rain, Freddy, it's all yours. As soon as you give me one orange sea urchin, that is. That looks like something expensive. Almost lost a fin. <sighs> I'm not trying that again. Not without something to keep that clam from snapping shut. Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. <laughs> Great job. I knew you could pull it off. Get it? Pull. Oh, Luther. I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the teeth? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. <laughs> but if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish.
the great conch that our founder holds is central to the Founders' Day Festival. A blast from the great conch begins the celebration. Excuse me, sir, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre mends things, they are better than new. So if something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Be sure. With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. a leak. I had to strike my sail and use it to plug the hole. Without a sail to catch the wind, I'm stuck out here. <sighs> that island has beautiful looking banana trees. I wish I could get over there. Hmm. Perhaps we have something to stuff in the hole so you could hoist your sail. <coughs> that would be stupid. And uh, then I could get moving again. <sighs> Drifting aimlessly on the ocean is no way for a monkey to go through life. If only I had a plug for my boat. Oh, if you could find me a plug, I'll be here. My poor leaking boat. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll have your problem solved in a snap. Okay, Luther. Let her rip. Good news. The whole plug. Uh, the bad news is I ripped your cell badly. No, it looks like you ripped it quite well. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll get your sail fixed. We promise. Hey, one of the golden pipes is stuck in that banana tree. That looks like it would be too high for us to jump. Maybe I could move the pipe with telekinesis, the raw power of my mind. Ooh! Ouch! What's the matter? I think I sprained my brain. Guess we'll just have to find another way to get that golden pipe down from that banana tree. Freddy, how come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea where everything is pink and polka dotted. You just made that up, didn't you? Uh huh. 
Look, Freddy. There's something behind that waterfall. Wait! Me too. We're just going to have to find another way to get to that waterfall. Jam clapper, get a brook in the wedding. Hey, look! There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet. We're rich, rich, rich! This wallet doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this picture, it belongs to a needlefish with a long, pointy nose, a mustache, and a couple of hairs on his head. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. Look, Freddy, it's a Snoopy Pop. No, it's not. It's a purple sea urchin. I knew that. I just like to say Snoopy Pop. Snoopy Pop. Snoopy Pop. Snoopy Pop. Club. And you nice guys can't get in. So scram! Freddy, this guy is really mean. <laughs> A terrific tumble-tooth ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better! Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Look, Freddy, I found a purple sea urchin. Toss it over here and I'll hang on to it for later. Good work, Luther. In unity, there is strength. Can't argue with that. brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Look, it's one of the golden pipes. You're right. But how can we get it out of that glass case? Looks like a tough case to crack, if you ask me. I'm sure glad I didn't ask. Those blue sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. 
those purple sponges move the golden pipe farther away from us. That rubber stopper is stopping us from getting that golden pipe. Keep it up, and we'll. It looks like the orange spot. Wow, we're really on top of this. That's the idea. Hey, Freddy, you smell that? What is it? Ah, the sweet smell of success. Now we need just two more golden pipes for Old Soggy to pick up the scent. Change the kind of sound the organ makes. <laughs> we can record nine songs. The organ knows a lot of songs. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Looper have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. Brushing my tooth. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. The doorway's clear. Swell. Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes. I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. Just open that tube. Makes you go through the tubes twice.
around the ocean floor Unless you want to mess with me Don't go swimming too close to my door Down in the deep blue sea I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse Than his bark will ever be Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor Unless you want to mess with me Well, dive down deep into the murky sea Well, that's where you run into me I'm a cool catfish with an attitude I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool Come take a swim in the blue I'll make you feel so cool Oh, oh Swimming to and fro I always eat my seaweed Because it helps me grow Someday I'll be so big and strong I'll never have to fear But for now I'm a little fishy Who is hiding under Ladies and germs, step right up to Gil Barker's world famous floating fun. Just four purple sea urchins get you inside. That's right, if you've got four purple sea urchins and you can hit the broad side of a barge, you can be a big winner. Hey, I hit the broad side of a barge just the other day. Yes, but you ran into it head first. And boy, did that ever hurt. Here's a purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. Hmm? 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 
Ready? Here we go! Monsieur Pierre, do you think you can mend our sail for us? Oui, oui. Now observe, mere mortal. As the great Pierre creates from the tattered rag the nautical fashion statement. Voila! C'est fini! Fini! Well, he said to say it. Sheesh! Is that the wallet of Pierre in your fin? Yes, sir. Ah, my beautiful one-of-a-kind wallet. Here's something from the great Pierre just for you. Just one orange urchin? Luther, don't be greedy. Thank you, Pierre. Would you like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam? I'd rather get a snack, but an orange sea urchin will do. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag. Pratica Massent, hey, everything. So, the Shim Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feathers so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Mr. Feather, sir. Hey, Mr. 
Magenta. We brought you something you really wanted. A banana split? No, it's the sale for your boat. Good as new. Wow, I'm impressed. And even better, I'm moving! Oh, it's a lovely island and such beautiful banana trees. Thanks for your help. Hmm. Jenny, could you climb this banana tree and toss us that golden pipe? It's a pleasure. Thanks a lot, Magenta. All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Doggy can sniff out the thief. having brainstorms on a more regular basis. Yeah, 
Give it up, folks. Let's hear some applause. show so far. Hey, let's make some noise out there. show so far. Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. 
Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Righto, Freddy! <laughs> Yikes! I got a golden pipe! I don't care what anyone else says. You're a good fish. We did it, Freddy! We found all three golden pipes! Come on! Let's see if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Here you go, boy. Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. Old Soggy! The thief! A jewel! I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Uh-oh. Hey, what happened? Well, I, I saw this jewel and, and then I took it out and the door closed and I don't... Just put the jewel back, Luther. Luther! Shh! Oops. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. <laughs> might come in handy. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This might set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. That might come in very handy. Hey, the crystal grew back. Sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. That 
could come in handy. Disappointing than when the Plankton Circus came to town. I here came too for this. Disappointed my old silver-haired granny will be if not snapshot I bring back from festival. It's all Uncle Plenty's fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Which means the thief is... Gil Barker. You're the thief. Ah, that could have been anybody's cane in that bag. You haven't got a thing on me. <coughs> Yow! Oh, no? <coughs> okay, so maybe you do have something on me. I confess. I did it! The festival is the one day of the year when nobody comes to the carnival. And if nobody comes to the carnival, I don't make any money. But what's money compared to the happiness that the festival brings all your friends and neighbors? Anyway, no matter what anyone else says to make it seem right, it's just plain wrong to steal. You know, there are winners and losers, and I sure don't feel like a winner. I'm sorry. Here's the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> oh, and old Sonny. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty. Oh, Grand Exalted Keeper of the Conch? Gil was convicted of violating Penal Code 214 for excessive greediness. He was sentenced to 4,672 hours of public service silently working in the library. Case closed. the knowledge bug. Ta-da! Ta-da! Good night. <laughs> <laughs> 